there, and tonight's Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Rune Tale video for you guys. Today, we are back with the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, and the expansion is here. And the first deck I decided to share is Caitlyn and Timo. True Detective, aka It's a Trap, is the deck that I will be sharing today. A deck that I'm super hyped to showcase. And I'm going to be talking about one card specifically and explain a little bit how busted it actually is. Regardless, I really, really wanted to build around Caitlyn and I was thinking of combining her with Teemo. And I gotta give a big shout out to A Gigas because this is his deck concept. I, as soon as I thought, I'm like, yeah, this is just the perfect way to start off testing these two together because combining them with uh, Noxus makes a lot of sense thanks to Ravenous Flock and Nox and Guillotine. I'm going to explain that shortly. So first of all, why combine Caitlyn and Teemo together? Well, they are detectives and they work really well together because they plan traps. And uh, the puff caps that are generated via Teemo or the mushroom clouds that you can uh, create through your Cump of Wumps, Chump of Wumps, etc., are traps. So every single one of these poison puff caps represents one trap, which makes it really easy to level up Caitlyn. I don't believe this is Caitlyn's only deck by any means. In fact, I do think that Caitlyn will probably end up being a little bit better in a different archetype because this archetype is uh, more about the mushrooms than, than anything, really. Uh, we don't have all the ways to enable the flash bomb traps, and I do want to mess around with more of Caitlyn's support cards later down the line. But as you guys can see, we are not playing Bandle City. We are sacrificing that. We're making use of the dual region of cards like Teemo and Aloof Travelers to play the likes of Noxus because Noxus provides us with Ravenous Flock, and Ravenous Flock is really good combined with Caitlyn because the flash bomb traps traps can enable Ravenous Flock really easily as we get one damage on a random ally. This alongside uh, our, you know, Sting Officers and also our Piltover Peacemaker can allow us to set up some very nasty Nox and Guillotine board wipes as well. That's the main reason why we're going Noxus instead of something like Bandle City. Because we're not going Bandle City, we can play Ava. Uh, which is another mushroom finisher. So that is a bit of a downside, but ultimately it doesn't really matter because we have one of the most broken cards in this set and a card that I believe will propel Teemo to tier one status. Yes, you heard me right, tier one status. Karina Mastermind. This card is broken. This card is fundamentally busted. This card is won me like pretty much every single game. This card has enabled me to win games that I had no business winning. It is just one of the scariest finishers I've seen in this game. And that is because of her second skill. When you play Karina, you have the ability to choose between Beguiling Blossom or Volatile Bloom. Beguiling Blossom allows you to plant five flash bomb traps randomly in the top five cards of the enemy deck. Sometimes you can feel the need to play this, especially if you haven't been able to get some mushrooms planted. But the best majority of the time you're going to be using Karina Mastermind as a finisher and you're going to be using her with Volatile Bloom. This says activate the effects of all traps in the top five cards of the enemy deck. You activate the effect but you do not consume the cards or the traps themselves which means that you are triggered these traps but then as the opponent draws those cards they will be triggered again and this is nasty because if you get the mushroom train going and you set up like if, if you get to a point where you set up like 50 mushrooms or so, on average, Karina is dealing like above 10 easily when played, which is absolutely absurd. I've had just some crazy matches and I got a really hilarious live that I recorded for you guys. Uh, it was a bit of a rush recording because I am uploading this, this deck uh, the same day that I got er access to the early access event. So I barely had any time to, you know, test out or anything, but this deck works. This deck is close to optimized and it was such a, a great way to start things off, man. Really, really happy with today's video. We got the Hexcore Foundry. Uh, even though there are certain tools that were added to the card pool to allow us to draw multiple cards, like the three mana spell from PNZ. I'm actually going to take out Noxus here and focus more on PNZ because we're mainly a PNZ deck. Uh, where is the... Yeah, we got the Insider Knowledge. This is not bad, but ultimately it gets outclassed by Veteran Investigator, by uh, obviously Aloof Travelers, which is amazing. By the way, this card did live up to the hype. It's really, really good. And of course, Hexcore Foundry. Hexcore Foundry is our main draw engine that will allow us to 
uh, go turbo and trigger the traps as often as possible at the beginning of every round by forcing both players to draw an extra card. Alongside that, we have Puff Cat Peddler. Even though we only have a total of 10 spells, because we have a full set of Chump Wump and a full set of Clump of Wumps, we're able to generate cheap uh, Mushroom Clouds that can allow our Puff Cat Peddlers to uh, start getting to work and uh, generate as many Mushrooms as possible so that our Karina can finish off the game. So the purpose uh, Caitlyn is providing us in this uh, particular deck is more of a support than anything. She allows us to pick off the board a little bit and, and deals damage to some units so we can Ravenous Flock him or Nox and Guillotine as we continue to apply pressure and try to set up our Mushrooms to win the game with Karina, like I mentioned. And that is essentially what we're doing with our deck. We're also playing Piltover Peacemaker as like a worse version of Mystic Shot that will allow us to plant some Flash Bomb Traps and further promote the level up and, like I said, our uh, Noxian-based removal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the deck list right there. Big shout outs to A Gigas for this concept. It really does put in the work. Uh, like I stated in the video, I don't believe this will be the most optimized or most powerful version of Teemo. I think Teemo with Ezreal and Freljord and Karina as a late game bomb is the deck that has the potential to be tier one. Uh, but it is very early to say nonetheless. And like I said, I think Caitlyn has so much potential and you guys will be seeing her back on the channel very soon, even though I have to cover some of the other champions first. But I really love this design and I think that she can do a lot of work, especially when combined with the region of Noxus. And that's where I'll leave it at. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. We are back at it with the daily gameplay uploads with all the new cards and I just... Can I wait? So I'm gonna stop talking so I can play some more. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you around. All right, not the matchup I was expecting. Go hard. Well, that's gonna suck if, if they go hard on Teemo turn one. Regardless, let's let's investigate. I really wish I could have the Zon board, but because I, I'm not at, like we're in the you know early access event client, it's a different client, and I'm not gonna spend money. <laughs> on, on cosmetics, but I'm not gonna be able to keep them. So uh, I like the Caitlyn, the Sting Officer, even though it can get go-hearted. I'm gonna mulligan gonna away these two. This is a bit of an awkward matchup, really, because uh, once they get their go-hards going, in. drawing them cards is gonna be tricky. I mean, if they have to go hard, they have to go hard. Okay, they don't. Mom spaghetti. My board is so frail though. They have like withering will. I smell a rat. We're gonna play Caitlyn. Vandal Scout Troop Leader at your service. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. They they got the, the thing reverted. All right, all in. Again, Withering Whale clears two thirds of my board, but yeah, but that's okay. Teemo! Teemo! There's the Hexcore Foundry. Not sure we want to play it just yet, though. We gotta we gotta adjust to the matchup. There aren't playing any units though, so our our flash bomb traps aren't gonna be hitting anything. The waters nurture the Marai. Ah, oh, shit. Like I said, all this card draw is gonna help him. I think here we should just spread out, right? With with our two. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare him a nice welcome. Attack with everything. I can. He can block my clump of wumps, but that makes it so that my traps can deal with them. All right, six flash bombs. The top ten cards of his deck. I'm always up for a round or two. All right, gonna gonna kill our Caitlyn. I cry every time. Dead in their traps. I want to set up the puff cap peddler. Let me just just get them like drawing here. 
What's the best line of play here? I mean, this this enhances our chances of clearing his board. Uh, playing Puff Cat Peddler is always something we can do afterwards. I gotta be careful with this Twist of Fate, because it could level up if I just allowed to draw that easily. Alright, some flash bomb traps. There we go. Nice. Ooh! Oh, booyah, bitch! <laughs> Calculated. Beautiful. Beautiful! We got Teemo back. We can level up Teemo with Puffcat Peddler here, potentially. Though we need a bit of an extra boost. Oh, those flash bombs, though. That was sexy as hell. Down to 12. So now we gotta go with the Karina game plan here. We gotta make use of all the damage that we got, and we gotta go with the Karina game plan. I, I still assume they're go hard. Sends its regards. I kind of. I, I gotta think this through a little bit. I would like to have more spells before I start. Uh, maybe I, I can drop one veteran investigator. Stand aside. An expert is at work. I don't want to leave my Puff Cat Peddler vulnerable just yet. It's a very, very important piece because once I get it rolling with these mushroom clouds, I really, li I really like these uh, these eyes on the corner. By the way, very, very nice upgrade to the game. Like it, it really helps out. But I'm I'm looking to win with Kar Karina Mastermind has tremendous late game potential. Like this card is actually I, I think this card is kind of busted. <laughs> I think it's 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 like really, really good. I probably will have gone through that in the deck tech. Ooh, okay. Alright. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Bam Okay. Yo, that's a that's a sick combo with the other card right there. That's pretty dope. Not gonna lie, that's pretty dope. Okay, I don't think he has to go hard at this point, right? Play Teemo. Don't kill my Teemo. Maybe I should have waited. Okay, so I, I'm gonna hold back from playing this Mushroom Cloud right now. This elusive unit. I'm gonna go for the pilt over peacemaker to uh, eliminate it. Ho! Huh. Wow! 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 Well, I'm happy I have this card. Oh my god, dude, that's such a sick concept. Never lost a fair game. All right, so he wants to get rid of my Teemo, but we're not gonna let that happen because we got you and we got you. Surprise, motherfucker! So we're gonna lose our our special agent, our sting officer, but we are gonna knock out this zap. Beautiful, beautiful. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. Go ahead. Go, Teemo! Plant them! Dude, first game and I get to showcase. By the way, I'm 4 0 with this deck. And we're about to be 5 0, baby! Second boundary. We're in. And we got and we got Karina Mastermind. I'm gonna show you guys the power of Karina Mastermind. <laughs> Bruh! That's why I played Nox and Guillotine in the deck. Exactly why. How many how many puff caps? 30 puff caps, 27 cards, 5 cards. I like my odds. I could just play Chump Pump though. But no, we're going in. Oh, oh, the don't those fools know I own this city? 
can have health gain with Withering Whale, yeah. All right. Oh, but it don't matter. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, Karina's so broken. <laughs> All right. Some Nami. Nami's a very scary looking champion. And we see it's Bandol City Bilgewater. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the Nox and Guillotine. For now, I'm just going to keep the Clump of Worms. Ravenous Flock is also neat, but this may be a matchup in which it could be a little bit awkward. We get to turn one Teemo, which is always fantastic to see. I like to see that Mystic Shot as well there. We got some... This is the kind of removal that we need right now. This is a really good position to be in because right now, if he does play a spell to try to generate the elusive on onto Fizz, gimme, gimme. Back it up. we can go for Mystic Shot, and it's very unlikely that he'll be able to unless he has another one. <laughs> Getting rid of Fizz is important. All right, we're getting pranked. Or, I thought we were getting pranked. I mean, not, now we get pranked, I guess. Embrace the current or be swept away. Hot on the trail. Keep all flammables on the trail. Burn out of tents. All right. Let the tide carry you. All right. Weekend Puff Cat Peddler, not, not the biggest deal. I can take this hit. I don't want to risk my, my Caitlyn. Alright, so we banded two Flash Bombs and uh, five Puff Caps here. Manifesting a spell. Make a drain could be a little bit annoying. And you've got the cutest hat I've ever seen. Tentacles off the spectacles, please. I've been down in the sump, haven't you? That's not bad. I assure you that won't be necessary. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's had. Right now. Wash away. I'm gonna go with double this now because I level up um, I level up Teemo and it gives me a, a stronger chance of leveling up uh, Caitlyn as well. Okay. Oh, so it didn't meet that requirement then. Oh, never mind, that derped because you played that wrong. Hmm. Nothing like the great outdoors. 
for the great her indoors. What's up, Lucas? I haven't been alone. You are quite slimy. Why? Why does it say it's a it's a one of two? Really? Mystic shot here. I'm here. The Mirai will never know fear again. All right, here we go. Okay, well, that's that's pretty good. Just lie down. Wait, wait. I've always been a fun guy. Manners. When nature calls, a vandal scout follows. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I mean, a strike like this. Please make a protocol. Get rid of the last elusive blocker. So I can open attack with Teemo. Very nice. Get him up to 58. Shit, it's Silver Fuse with a... I'm not sure what this deck is. I'm not sure what it is. We got the Caitlyn. We can drop the Veteran Investigator. I like the Clump of Wumps. Um, I'm gonna keep the Ravenous Lock, actually. Weird lineup. I'm not sure what she's trying to do. She can make my Mystic Shot four mana, which makes sense. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand this deck. I, I don't understand it. It feels. It feels like just random champions together. <laughs> I'm gonna play my my Clump of Wumps. I'll try attacking. Interesting block there. All right. That's fine. 
sein. Ja, why not? I'm gonna play Teemo. Best mama is the beast mama. Pot on the trail. Keep all flammables on the trail. Burn out of tents. Just trying to help. Let's investigate. Name the groundwork. Maybe I I was a little bit too um, careless with my Teemo there. I could have waited to level him up. Let's cook him. I'm gonna try to eliminate this. Please make a protocol. Well, fart it. Scoping the area. Now nah, it makes sense. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Have a mushroom. Have three. There they go. All right, so she's trying to win with the bandle tree. Now, now this deck makes a little bit more sense. Because at first I was like, what the hell? I can take these hits. I'm gonna pass. Now I'm going to go for Ravenous Flock here. We're one away, and they're gonna win with the Bandle Street. <laughs> Shit. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Smell that? A fight to cook it. Well. I guess we only have one option, and that is to win this turn. 
We have a total of um, 12 mana. Which allows us to go for this. There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's always a best path. It's Karina. It's Karina or Bus, because we lose to this at the, at the beginning of the next turn. We gotta plan as many mushrooms as we can. And we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Farina, what brings you here? Business and pleasure. Sharing. It's 55 puff caps. Gotta believe. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, it's so busted, dude. A satisfactory outcome. Dude, she's such an amazing finisher. It's crazy. I, I legit thought we lost. Like, I, I didn't get any of my engines, like my hex score foundry or anything. And that that deck seemed like a meme, but it went like really fast. Like the win condition, especially with these like double spawns, like it was very cleverly built, you know, with like stuff like, I mean, I don't know if, if it was, what regions was it to begin with? It was Bandle City and what else? Was it Bilgewater? I'd have to look back because that double trouble is otherwise like a very, very clever addition because you, you enhance your chances of, uh, you know, these spawn effects effectively like really speed it up. That's so funny. That's so funny though. Like every single game we just, we just pull a, a, a W out of our ass with, with Karina. <laughs> oh, she's so good, dude. I'm telling you, this card is absolutely nuts. Uh, I didn't really get to showcase much. I, I showcased Caitlyn, but I didn't showcase like leveled up Caitlyn too much. Like whenever when she leveled up, the game was already kind of over. Um, I, I will obviously get back to her. I, I love this champion, but the first thing that came to mind is combining her with Teemo, right? So I wanted to showcase this cha this champion combination more, uh, even though it was it was more than anything a Karina Mastermind combination, really. But uh, this deck feels really legit, though, just because of this finisher. I think as as the meta progresses and uh, shit gets optimized, I think we'll end up going back to something like, specifically for this, we'll end up going back to something like Teemo uh, Ezreal with Froyord and with Karina as a finisher. I, I think that will be the most competitive version of Teemo uh, because I think Caitlyn, you know, works pretty well with Teemo, but I feel like there are other ways to build her. I think um, I think she's just very good value on her own, and there's other potential homes for her, and um, I'm, I'm gonna be exploring those. Uh, I'm, I'm not done with her. Like she, she is like I just love this champion. I love the concept of flash bomb traps. It's so uh, it's so goddamn fun, and I, I think we really showcased the flash bomb traps this game uh, this session as well. Like even though it's a short short session, I gotta make sure I get this upload ready for you guys late so I can't have like a super long upload. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the games. Oh man. We're just getting started. Tomorrow we're back back at it with something more. I'm gonna continue brewing. And that's all I gotta say of a soul. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Frontier content. Leave a like for Detective Timo, Caitlin, and the best villain ever, Karina Mastermind. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.